when you need your five-year-old to handle business. Oh, man. He got it! He got it! Ah! Give me jump in! Give me jump in! No, Enzo, Enzo, don't. No, Enzo. No, no, no. Baby, grab him! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> got it! I got, you got it. it! You got it! You got it, Enzo! Good job! Good job, Enzo! <laughs> Dude, you are a rock star! That was a rock star move! <laughs> He's coming up for air! He's coming up for air! Where? Where? He's up for air! He's up for air! <laughs> Come on, put him here! Put him here! Put him in here! Yes! <laughs> Oh my gosh, the kid has no fear. He's just put like, is that his brother there in the background with a net as well? He should put his dad to shame. His dad was just standing there the whole time with the net in his hand, just sort of watching. His dad wasn't even, well, he tried that first time. We'll give him credit for that. But <laughs> I want to say it was a team effort, but it wasn't even a team effort. It was, it was all, I think the kid's name was Enzo. I think it's Enzo. It was all Enzo's doing. That that was his thing. <laughs> I just didn't expect him to dive in the way that he did. I mean, his mum and I think his dad said no as well. But I mean, if it wasn't for him jumping in the pool and being brave enough to do that, then ch chances are that Elizabeth would still be swimming around in there. So um, yeah, well done him. Well done him and poor dad. I mean, Maybe next time, Dad, you're just gonna have to get in there and actually jump in the pool, I think. Which he did not look willing to do. <laughs> I don't think many people would. I mean, they're quite fast, aren't they, Lizard? So, yeah, that would, that would kind of be tough to do, I think. Enzo, what are you doing? You're organizing? It's nine o'clock at night. Can I help you with anything? This is the last thing you have to do? It's more stuff. Like what? What are you trying to get? Can we just talk about the fact that this kid's wardrobe is my dream? He's got one of those like proper walk-in wardrobes with like all the different sections, like everything's like hung up, it's really neat, it's really tidy. I'm jealous. I want one of those wardrobes. <gasps> oh, I'm getting so tired. <gasps> Go down the <gasps> This, I feel like as well, is every parent's like wish. A, a kid that like wants to clean. I think he's only five years old. So to be doing this at five, he's even doing the bathroom as well. That's pretty impressive. Who's gonna put you to bed? If I go to bed. I can't. I'm going to bed. All right, well, he's just cleaning. I'm gonna just lay here for a second. Tired. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. He's so cute. He's already like a full on adult. He's literally five. Can I have a kiss? <laughs> I love you. Hey, check for monsters under the bed in case I pass out. Okay. Mom, I saw you in bed. You're not in bed. Mom, you're not in bed. Bed, you saying you're tired. <gasps> this kid just wants to be left alone to clean. He just wants to do his chores, you know? He doesn't want to be bothered. He just wants to be left to it. And I mean, it looks like he's doing a pretty good job as well. I still can't get over that wardrobe. Like how neat the clothes are like on the rail and he's got like little storage things for stuff. <gasps> She's teaching this kid right at a good age. Like he's gonna grow up and have like the cleanest house you've ever seen. Love that. I feel like most kids are like, you know, you gotta tell them to tidy things. He's literally optionally choosing to nine o'clock at night, just tidy his room. I don't even think adults clean at nine o'clock at night. They get to a certain time and it's just cut out. No, <laughs> I would not want to reorganize my room at nine o'clock at night. So no, hats off to this kid. His mum must be really proud. It's, a, it's cool.